Hello, it's Dini. I recently just read two graphic novels and a manga for the Asian Readathon, and today I'm going to do some quick reviews about them. No spoilers. And also, for each of the graphic novels and manga, I'm going to put their content warnings in the description because each of them kind of have a long list of them. So, first up, I read The Kite Runner by Khaled Husseini, and it's in its graphic novel form. So, this is a much beloved novel, and going into it, I only knew the basic premise, which was that there was two boys, childhood friends, Amir and then Hassan, and Amir had done something horrible to Hassan and betrayed his trust when they were children, and then as an adult, Amir had to go back to Afghanistan to kind of atone for what he had done. This was an incredibly emotional read. I cried several times throughout it. The artwork, I think, was very good, but also very graphic at times, and it made you really immersed in the story. I enjoyed that it had historical elements of it because it told kind of the recent history of Afghanistan and what the people there had to go through and the changes that Afghanistan has been through. Another thing that I really liked was that we met characters who were in very difficult situations who had to make difficult moral choices and it kind of showed that while they may not be making the best choices, what else are they supposed to do in the situation they are in? So we have empathy for these characters who are put in difficult situations. And it really does not pull any punches at all throughout the book. The family and friendship relationships in this book were very complicated and nuanced. We got to see that while you may love someone, you can still end up hurting them or trying to withhold information for their benefit, but in the end, it only just hurts them. It really shows how complicated people can be and also some expectations that we put on others. I am very glad that I read this graphic novel. The only criticism I have of it is that since it's in graphic novel form, it sometimes skips around a little too fast for my liking, but I do plan on reading it in its novel form and then also looking up some of Khaled Husseini's other works. The next thing I read was a manga, The Lone Wolf and Cub Omnibus One by Kazuo Koike. This is kind of a father-son adventure revenge story. Ogami is framed for the murder of his wife and sets out for revenge with his baby son, Daigoro. Since this is an omnibus, it is made up of several different stories that the father and son go on, and there's an overarching kind of plot of revenge, but then within each kind of chapter slash story, they have like little mini plots where you interact with different people and have to figure out different ways of surviving. For the most part, this was a dark and kind of serious story, but there were some light moments that I really liked with the son Daigoro, and it kind of made some good contrasting moments. This series is highly praised for its accurate depiction of the samurai in the Endo period of Japan. So I really enjoyed the fact that you got to read about a historical time in Japan, and it's not like a textbook read, it's you're reading a story that could have happened. There are 12 omnibuses of this story, and I do plan on reading the rest of them. I have a feeling that this might be kind of like the Count of Monte Cristo, where there's the overarching plot of revenge, but then we have a bunch of little things that are going on that will all make sense in the end. But I, I don't know, but I am quite intrigued and am genuinely liking the story. And lastly, I read The Boat, which is an interactive story, and it's by Nam Lee and created by Matt Wynn. It tells the harrowing tale of Mai, who's 16 year old and living in Vietnam. After the fall of Saigon, her parents put her on a boat to Australia. And we get to experience the terrible conditions that Mai had to go through in order to get to Australia. It's a very intimate look at what people who have to flee from conflict have to go through in order to survive. The artwork for this story is both very beautiful and also quite grim. Also, the fact that you had to interact with the work in order to progress the story makes you feel really immersed. It was a very emotional and evocative piece of art. This kind of work is something that I probably would have never even come across of, so I'm very grateful that Cindy recommended this work because otherwise I think people would be missing out on it. I would definitely recommend people to read this because it is relevant even today so we can see how people still have to live their lives sometimes in order to flee a conflict and just wanting the best for themselves and their family. I will say that all three of these works, it's kind of best going in 
not knowing the full story or a full synopsis because it is an experience for each of them. But again, I have put content warnings in the description in case you do need those because there is kind of a long list for each of them. But I would recommend to read all of them if possible. But that's it for this round of kind of like mini reviews. So thank you for watching.